Good morning. Ah, it's really overcast out. I got all my morning stuff done. I think I'm going to venture out right up to the credit union and make a deposit. Uh, need to put a little bit of money in the credit union to pay some local bills. <laughs> ah, so that's what I'm going to do. Didn't shade today. A couple mosquitoes got me yesterday in the neck. So I got little bumps on there. I know if I shave, I'm going to cut into them. So, I'm going to hop on the bike, ride into the big city of Victoria. Man, the weather says that uh, chances of the storms rolling in, it's supposed to start like early afternoon and go on into this evening, increasing each hour. But, look at that, really low hanging dark clouds and that's where I'm going that direction oh man I think I'm gonna chance it if it starts raining I'll pull over and wait it out somewhere we'll see banking done and the Sun's actually peeking through the clouds I think I'm gonna go over over to ATV and maybe pick up some kind of healthy snacks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple little treats today for myself. I've been a good boy. And I'm not going to jinx it by saying I'll probably get home before it starts raining and storming. But I think I will. Shh. Well, I got, go for, got to go for a little ride today. That was pretty cool. Got some errands done, and uh, <clears throat> it always feels good about riding. It just always feels good. I don't, I, I don't know what it is, but I guess only a mo motorcyclist would understand, but it just feels so good. A couple things I was going to tell you about. I, uh, <laughs> this struck me so funny. Well, probably won't be funny to you, but I, I, I did. I laughed. I was sort of in a, uh, sort of just wanted to ease out last night, late last night. So I watched a movie that I had wanted to watch for a while with Robert De Niro and Anne Hathaway, I think her name is, uh, called The Intern. And the premise, you know, it's it's got no real meat to the to the movie. It's just uh, easy going. You know, it's everything that you would expect. No real huge surprises and it's just a feel good little movie. And it was fun. It was fun to watch. But the funniest part to me was uh, when he first gets the job as the intern. He goes home that night and he's got two battery operated alarm clocks that he sets two alarm clocks and what struck me funny is I do that I have done that I can't remember not doing it if I have something that I have to get up early for uh, let's say it's something I have to get up by 7 even though I wake up every single day I might wake up a whole year's worth every morning at six o'clock I'll still set two battery operated battery operated in case power goes out two in case one malfunctions <laughs> alarm clocks and he did that and I said I thought I was the only one who did that <laughs> uh, okay all right call me anal I really don't care <laughs> I'm not anal about a lot of things but being on time is one of them so that was pretty funny <laughs> And uh, I transferred a bunch of, of my videos over to an external hard drive, a one terabyte external hard drive, freed up more and more space on the desktop to work with. And I, I noticed something. I've got a total of 156 videos that I've done since I started on YouTube. And of course, the majority of them were, you know, once a one a, a week, one every other week, something like that. When when I was just doing the motor vlogging, I have been doing this now daily, and I've got seventy six 
videos up daily. Now I know there's people that got a thousand. I don't know how they do it. I guess I'm gonna try to find out, but I didn't realize it had been that many, 76. That just struck me as kind of cool anyways. And I wanted to show you something I got in the email today. <laughs> I'm gonna show you this. I'll show you, uh, I'll show you right here. Okay. I'm invited for a shipping pass pilot program which, you know, they, they make it sound like in your email, we pick you out. You know, I, I'm like the beta tester for this program. They probably sent it out to every single person who they got an email address for. But anyways, they're trying to do what Amazon does. Amazon, Amazon does for $99 a year, they do free two-day shipping. This is half the price. What was it? $49.00. And what they say they give you, unlimited shipping all year long, no minimum orders required, free returns online or in store. Here's the problem. My experience, now you can tell me if you've had great experience, but I've dealt with Walmart a few times where my dealings encompassed something outside of walking in the store buying something and going up to the cash register. And I'm going to be real nice here because it would be easy for me not to be nice. But I'm going to be real nice and just say I can't remember them not dropping the ball. Anytime I've had to deal with their employees going to pick up something that I ordered online, uh, I've dealt with ignorance. And ignorance, in, in, in my mind, is not a bad word. I'm ignorant. You tell me to go out and rebuild an en engine, guess what? I'm ignorant. But it's sort of inexcusable for a business's employee to be ignorant about transactions within that business. You know, that's sort of inexcusable. And I could give example after example after example. Uh, so, I avoid having to deal with them online. I, I just, I avoid, uh, I really avoid anything other than walking in one. Now, don't get me wrong, I will, you know, as long as they're around and, and uh, have the prices they have and the product, the good supply of products they have, I'll be a customer, there's no doubt. But, Man, with dealing and dealing with employees of Walmart, I can't handle it. Now, I'd love to hear whether you agree or disagree with me. I can't see paying forty-nine dollars a year to get fast two-day shipping on something I buy from them. When, when I know if I bought one or two things from them this year versus buying some, you know, multiple things every month from Amazon like I do, it would only be because, uh, you know, it was a giveaway type price or couldn't find it anywhere else than them online and I had to have it. So, that just cracked me up. But the other thing I don't like about their email advertising is I get their emails, and I, I, I could be way off here, but I'm going to say over 50% of the time when I get an ad from them, the title is real cool, you know, great discount on, on this type of item or at that time or all electronics on sale. And the whole ad consists of a picture of a, of a radio and then saying uh, great selection, a picture of uh, a television and then, you know, huge selection, great prices. In other words, they go through all the trouble of sending me an email on products they want me to buy, and they don't put prices on it. That's just total waste. I'm not going to click on it. I mean, you know, it's not telling me anything. Why send? Why go to paying somebody and doing all that kind of advertising? And they're not the only ones that do it, but they do it real often. And send me a picture of a of a television and say, "Hey, we got televisions on sale." Really? How much are they? <laughs> but anyways. That's neither here nor there. My little rant. I get. I got a rant in today. How about that? But if you're interesting, 
Walmart's got free two-day shipping for just $49. It must be a year, right? $49. It says $49. It doesn't say if it's for a year or six months. I presume it's for a year. So they got a brand new program. Uh, apparently they're emulating Amazon. Uh, I don't know. The only problem is, you know, I just, uh, outside of walking in one of their stores, I can't remember ever having a dealing with them where something went smooth. In fact, the last thing I ordered from them online, I did order something. They had that convention, you know, type, convention type little oven and all that. And I ordered one from them. Completely different model than what I ordered. So, you know, that's just one of at least a handful of examples that I could give you. I can't give you an example of ordering something from them, going to the store, picking it up, and not having just a heck of a time trying to get get it done. So, there you go. Be strong, be happy, and be a good neighbor. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.